everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com alongside good friend Jason Blair, who is an FAA designated pilot examiner. You might remember, Jason and I did a webinar, a mock check ride webinar. We uh, did. Jason, I don't even remember how long ago now. It's been some time. Jason, I kind of have a loaded question for you. My viewers ask this a lot. You know, going into a check ride, what to expect. Are you this big mean guy that's out there to get everybody? I mean, look at you, you got a big grizzly beard. I mean, what what can we expect on check ride? Um, just just talk us through that process really quick. Well, I'll tell you, the beard goes away in the summer. Okay, so good. primarily for scuba diving, so I can you know, get my mask <laughs> to seal. But we're not that scary. I mean, most of us examiners are out here with excitement. We want to see people pass. I mean, yeah. I, I really like giving temporary airman certificates. Yeah. They're a lot more fun than giving the notice of disapprovals. Although in Michigan, we tend to give a lot of discontinuances for weather as well, which gets frustrating for both us and for our applicants. Mm -hmm. um, but we like to see people pass. I mean, we're not mm -hmm. here to see everybody fail, mm -hmm. but we'll do it when we have to. Sure. So the goal here is to make sure people fly within practical test standards. That's mm -hmm. it. The practical test standards are the menu we follow as examiners, mm -hmm. and if you meet it, you're going to pass. I mm -hmm. don't care if the last 40 people in a row passed. Mm -hmm. If you meet it today, yeah. you're going to pass too. Yeah. If the last 10 people in a row have failed and you don't meet practical test standards, you're going to fail too. Mm -hmm. There's no secret. There's no surprises. If you look at the practical test standards, it's going to tell you exactly what I have to do as an examiner mm -hmm. to determine whether you're capable of getting that rating or certificate. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Nothing to worry about. I mean, and again, I know you well enough to know you're not going to go in there, you know, slamming the paper down. You try to calm people down because you deal with a lot of nervous people. I mean, absolutely. What do you do with people who say, geez, I know if I can just get to the airplane, I'll be OK. How do you help people like through the oral exam that, you know, maybe they're not great public speakers and they're just really nervous. How do you work with nervous applicants like that? So nervousness on a check ride is expected. We yes. see that as examiners. We know you're going to be nervous. Um, a lot of times what we can do is we'll take some breaks. If you want to get a drink of water, go take a bathroom break. Mm -hmm. You know, that'll help get the nervousness down. But a lot of times we'll just talk with you. Mm -hmm. You know, as we go through, the, the toughest part for us is actually mm -hmm. to make sure all the paperwork's done. So yeah. the first probably half hour of your check ride is going to be sitting down with us. We're going to go through IACRA or mm -hmm. an 8710 form in paper. Hopefully it's not paper anymore. <laughs> yes. Hopefully we're doing IACRA. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go through your logbook. And this is where you're sitting on the other side of the table and the examiner's quiet and you're thinking, Oh boy, what's he doing? Oh, yeah. All we're doing is paperwork. We're yeah. just making sure you're qualified to do a check ride. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to talk to us. Yeah. Now, talk to us as we go through that. We can do a little bit of paperwork and talk mm -hmm. at the same time. And we're human. We're mm -hmm. pilots. We've been there. We've done check rides too. Yes. We were scared too once. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I remember failing my instrument check ride. Wow. And you know what? Yeah. I learned a lot from it. So sure. we're going to learn as we go through and try to use that experience to help you as an applicant yeah. be a little bit more comfortable on the check ride too. Yeah, absolutely cool. Guys, any questions you have for Jason Blair, there's a comment box down below this video on m0a.com. I know Jason will check it out. I'll be in there as well watching for your comments. So leave your check ride questions down there for Jason. So on behalf of myself, uh, Jason Blair, this great m0a.com team, enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Imagine if you could take the guesswork out of your check ride and know the types of questions your examiner will ask beforehand. In our best selling book, Pass Your Private Pilot Check Ride, we do just that, sharing questions from hundreds of actual FAA check rides along with their correct answers. Pass Your Private Pilot Check Ride and its companion book, Pass Your Instrument Pilot Check Ride, are available as paperback, ebook, and audiobook so you can listen on the go. Consider this book your checkride insurance. Visit the m0a.com store by clicking the link below or visiting m0a.com to grab your copy.